All righty, guys. Uh, take two, or not take two. Uh, second video on the X47B. I am going to, well, I already reduced the uh, vertical stabilizers. I took the two medium ones off, so now we only have the one in the middle. I'm gonna do one quick flight uh, just to verify that this is working. And I'm going to continue to trim. I'm going to trim off the uh, off the other one. So let me make sure I'm not going to lose this thing when I throw it. And I apologize for the last video, guys. Seriously, the last video was a, 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 a an, an S show. <laughs> um, it was basically a nightmare because of the uh, the editing software that I used. It did not want to work for me. So, uh, I got people watching me now. All right, ready? All right, ready? Let's get this thing going here. It's flying perfect. It flies perfect without the mediums. flies better with the 1500. I added a 1500. Uh oh, I can't see anything because of the sun. Oh yeah. So, okay. So the CG uh, going forward a little bit has made it way more stable, which is good. I can feel the wind. There she is. All right, I'm gonna keep this battery in. I am going to land it, bring it in, bring it over to the car, warm my hands up for a second, and I'm going to trim. Bring it in nice and smooth. Oh, look at this thing. Look at that. Did you see that? That was the butteriest landing ever because I have the CG even better now. Oh, this thing is great. Okay, cool. I'm excited. The the fact that we have uh, zero negative effects on the uh, on the flight performance due to uh, removing those actually it flies it flies better. I I can't say for sure if it's I, I doubt it's the removal of you know uh, vertical surfaces, but uh, you never know. Things things do happen, especially near that that wing joint there. Um, the flow over the wings, who knows, but, um, I'm going to, you're going to have to bear with me for a second. I'm going to pause this in a second because I do everything one take <laughs> and, uh, let me get this here and I'm going to pause it here and I'll be right back. Okay. We have trimmed, uh, about 60% up. So... 40% off of the top, which is the, you'd argue that the most important part. So let's see what we got here. I am very hopeful that it'll fly with nothing, but if this is what we need uh, to maintain stable flight, uh, a, a clear acrylic one will work if I can't get the drag rudders, the active uh, stabilized drag rudders working on it. Okay, ready? Dead solid, man. Dead solid. Yep. Dead solid. I love this thing so much. Dead solid. I love it. Oh, one of my favorite planes I've ever built here. Jesus. Oh, I saved it even after the even after the bubble. <laughs> the balloon. Balloon, not bubble. <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> it's so funny. Alright, cool. Cool guys. Uh, that worked. One more shot. I'm gonna take it down halfway again, okay? And we'll come back. Alrighty. Look how small. Look at that little guy. We are down to basically nothing here. And 
and uh, this is a little frightening in there <laughs> because the three little winglets you can see you can see my imprints here imprint one two three uh, on the real one there's tiny little winglets or vertical surfaces I don't know why I keep calling them winglets there's little vertical surfaces that are on the real one that ab absolutely provide some stability so uh, I'm gonna have those and that's about the equivalent of that. Maybe it's maybe it's that's the equivalent of about five and uh, And I have three So if this works, I guess we can do it again. I don't really want to but All right, let's do it. I don't want to throw this right now, but I have to this is why we test things All right ready unstable it's a little unstable a little unstable but it's good the wind's getting it a little bit so it needs this this yep it's a little tiny bit unstable in the in the in the yaw but it flies good oh nope there it goes there it goes actually very good it's not bad it's not bad at all okay so that little surface there maybe two little acrylic ones where I had the mediums and uh, I I am not going to uh, take take that off until it's less windy guys okay so this is a huge deal. This is a huge deal. I would say just making that thing an inch taller and flat. Uh, like I screwed up on the cup a little bit. Making it an inch taller and like just flat is gonna be is gonna be an optimal situation uh, for my customer if he doesn't want to run the gyro. And we're work, we're working on the drag flaps that we have um, a really cool system that we that Thomas designed there and uh i'm hoping that that will work but you never know what's going to happen with this kind of stuff it just might not it may not work but okay well thanks for watching the video this was cool